Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble. We're going to focus on gold today and it's been all-time highs almost sort of weekly really. We've done a number of videos talking about all-time highs of 16, 17, 1800 pounds and now of course over the 1900 pound mark. Where will it end? What's the potential in gold right now? Are we going to see 2000, 2500? 10,000, is it going to shoot the moon? Well, no, it's probably not going to shoot the moon, but I can see and observe, and I've definitely felt it within the markets, this big shift for gold, despite some of the downward potential uh, indicators out there for gold, it's still strong and it's still at these all-time highs. Whilst there's been a little bit of profit taking from some of the big players in the market, we're seeing this new paradigm, this new norm of silver and gold being at this sort of level. And for gold, I can't see it really dropping a great deal. So does that mean that there's actually potential in gold if you were going to look to buy it right now? And does buying gold at all-time highs seem like a really bad idea? Now, I want to share some of my, I guess, story and journey as a gold buyer through the last sort of eight years. I've been buying since 2016 all the way up till the end of 2023. In fact, the last bits of gold that I bought on the open market were these two gold bars from the Royal Mint, which have now gone up exceptionally well in value since I purchased them. One of them was in a nice blister pack. The other one, the blister pack was all crap and horrible. So I made my own. But the point here is that I really maybe could have or should have bought more gold. So where's the stopping point? There's a lot to get through and I'd love to know your thoughts on this as we go throughout the video. It's going to vary from everybody and you know we're not also talking about the elephant in the room which is silver and the potential that silver could maybe outperform gold because of its drastic undervaluation in relation to it. I do agree with some of those points for silver. Here let's put a little piece of silver out on the table but I also think that actually in the longer term, in the bigger picture, gold has always been and will continue always to be, in my opinion, the superior hedging metal, the superior reservation of wealth or preservation of wealth tool that you would want to maybe consider. Now that's not me in the context of, uh, there's a bullion dealer linked in the description box below, go and buy all, buy all the bullion that you can from them. I'm here to just ask the interesting questions and present some interesting alternative views and facts. And if you then make your own decisions up based on that, then that's more power to you. So share your thoughts down in the comments and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this kind of content. If you enjoy just me talking some common sense about gold and not talking about the fact that it could go to the moon, all the doom and gloom and you know the, the negativity that's out there about silver and gold and how it should be higher than it is because of inflation and the falling and failing of our currencies in Western society. It's not really how the world works and we are seeing a new paradigm and that's the kind of big message that I want to talk about here today. Having bought gold all the way up from 900, in fact I think I've got one of my capsules here, I think it's actually this Britannia, having bought gold all the way up from, there you go, 1,015 pounds an ounce on this one here, if the camera ever focuses on it, there we go, from good old Atkinson's, not sponsoring today's video, but fantastic dealer, bought that in 2017 for 1,015 pounds, I think the most expensive per ounce piece of gold bullion that I bought was this bar last year. It's around 1650 from memory. I'd have to check my, my records for an exact price, but that felt expensive for me at the time. I think spot was around 1520, something like that. And spot at 1520 felt like a really high price. And then all you got to do is look sort of six months later and gold's at 1900 pounds an ounce. It's mad. Will we ever see 1500 pounds an ounce on gold again? And if we do, will I buy more? Well, I mean, knowing that gold could go to £1,900 an ounce, I bloody would like to think I'd buy more. But there does become a point in everybody's life where you really have to assess what is right in terms of your own financial circumstances and what's right for you in terms of investing. And owning an awful lot of gold physically is a burden. It's a risk. So there are alternatives, which gives me a brilliant little segue into today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Great Pacific Gold Corp, whose ticker symbol is FSXLF, and that can be found down in the description box below. You can also find links to their website and corporate presentation, which we're going to have a quick look at here today. Now, they are a very interesting company with a lot of potential, given the massive bull market that we're currently in for gold. 
It's important to remind you guys though that I am not offering financial advice, just simply presenting Great Pacific Gold Corp for you to have a look at and do your own research on. They are a junior mining company, which after all is a very much more risky way of investing in gold than physical gold, but it does represent a diverse way of being in the gold markets. So something definitely to consider. If you have a good look at historical gold mining stocks indexes and ratios compared with things like the S&P 500, we can see that these kind of markets are drastically undervalued by comparison. And the amount of investment that's been put into exploration and junior mining companies to bring gold out of the ground at these historical highs is only going to yield great results down the line. Now, as the name might suggest, Great Pacific Gold Corp is focused primarily in the Pacific. They have sites that they are exploring in Australia and Papua New Guinea, two areas that are historically very good for high-grade gold production. They have a very, very experienced management team with a proven track record of developing junior mining and exploration companies into billion-dollar organizations. And backing them up, they have an award-winning technical team as well. There's a lot more information in this corporate presentation and some of their other investing materials, so definitely worth going and having a look at what they've got to offer. Now, that said, this is, of course, not investment advice, and I would caution anyone to do their own in-depth research by looking at these bits of information and another bit of deep dive on your own. But it's certainly worth looking at and I would like to say a big thank you once again to Great Pacific Gold Corp for sponsoring today's video. Now we can go back to our video talking about gold. So a huge thank you for the sponsorship today from Great Pacific Gold Corporation. It's been a pleasure to work with them and if you're interested as I mentioned below there are or mentioned there are links in the description box below so go check them out. Now, as I was mentioning, it, it can be a bit of a burden to have quite so much gold. I mean, it's a bit of a first world problem, isn't it? Oh, woe is me, I've got too much gold. You do have to think, though, about how you store it, how liquid that is as well, if you're going to be looking to sell it. In the market, the way it is right now, yes, you can get higher prices than certainly when I was buying some of my gold, but physically getting it sold is difficult, and it feels bad giving away gold at less than spot price. Spot is this mythical number by which everybody measures what their gold is worth, but actually, really, if you're selling to a dealer or trying to get a quick sale on these things, it's less than spot price. So yes, spot is really high, and you can certainly look to take some profit. You know, from this coin here alone, I can nearly double my money. I could get nearly a thousand pounds profit on this which is incredible. I love that idea of having a thousand pounds or 900 pounds in my pocket extra. But also I kind of don't want to sell it because in 20 years time, when I hope to maybe take a back step from life and just, you know, sit on my ass and read a book every week, that would be glorious. Goodness me, it would be lovely to do that. Then I would want to have something that gives me a bit of money, a bit of income and selling a bit of gold here and there certainly would help with that. So do I want to sell my gold right now and take a bit of profit? No, because I think there's so much more potential for gold going forwards into the future. And as long as you're happy with the quantity that you have and the risk kind of that you take by having certain amounts of gold in your physical gold in your life, then I think you are just fine accumulating right now, even at these all time highs. Now, I'm not a savant of where things will go in terms of prices and there's of course a lot of dubious advice that's thrown out there in youtube land uh you know my my views will be contrary to others but i at least like to think that they're kind of down to earth in terms of where i feel gold will go and silver too but generally i don't feel like selling gold right now is a bad thing i have an established gold stack will i ever buy gold again yeah, I think if gold drops down a few more hundred pounds an ounce, I would maybe look to acquire a little bit more. But right now, I'm pretty happy with my lot and I'm pretty happy where things are. And I'm just enjoying this roller coaster of a price point. And if you are thinking, well, that's lucky for you because you've been buying over these last five, or six years, think about where things might be in five or six years and think how different the world is from my five or six years ago to five or six years from now. They could be very different. You just got to look at the bigger geopolitical situations that are going on in the world. You've got to look at the craziness that are the markets. You've got to look at inflation. Oh, there's just so many things post COVID debts that the you know, countries around the world are going to have to be paying down on for decades. It just makes me a bit worried about the future. So having this stuff, accumulating it and putting it into that long term wealth packet for me is 
an imperative that I will not ignore. I do apologize about the camera focusing today. It's very weird lighting. But, uh, oh, yeah, it's it's a difficult one to really judge where things are. And look, you know, it's all subjective. And as I said from our video sponsor today, there are risks involved with everything. There are certain risks involved with physical ownership of gold. There are, of course, higher risks involved with owning gold uh, mining stocks. But, you know, there is no ignoring the fact that this stuff has been around for 5,000 plus years as a precious metal commodity. In fact, longer if you really want to delve back through human history. And I think that it will only continue to improve everybody's quality of life in the long run. That's my personal views and opinions on the subject. And as I make these videos, or well, there's a reason why I make these videos like I do, because I want to know your views and opinions. So please feel free to comment down below with what you think about the potential for gold, the state of the gold markets right now, where things are. It would be great to hear from you down below. Thanks to all my Backyard Bullion Ramblers for listening to me talk about precious metals. And to the Cool Kids Club members, I say you are special, extra special cool. Wait, that's two specials. I mean, you are double special. So why can't I say you're special, extra special? There we go. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend ahead. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.